after Mao Zedong issued several warnings to the United Nations not to enter North Korea. The United Nations forces primarily composed of U.S. Marines advanced rapidly into North Korea with the intention of reuniting North and South Korea before the end of 1950. Mao Zedong sent the People's Volunteer Army to infiltrate the northeastern part of North Korea. The United Nations forces, under the command of Major General Oliver P. Smith, were tasked with advancing towards the Yalu River, the border between North Korea and China. As they approached the Chosin Reservoir, they were met with strong resistance from the Chinese army. The Chinese had been secretly building up their forces in the area and launched a surprise attack on the United Nations, encircling and trapping them. A brutal 17-day battle in freezing weather soon followed. Between 27 November and 13 December, 30,000 United Nations Command troops under the field command of Major General Oliver P. Smith were encircled and attacked by about 120,000 Chinese troops under the command of Song Xilin, who had been ordered by Mao Zedong to destroy the United Nations forces. Faced with the sudden attacks by Chinese forces in the 8th Army sector, General Douglas MacArthur ordered the 8th Army to launch the Home by Christmas Offensive. <laughs> MacArthur ordered the X Corps to attack west from the Chosin Reservoir and to cut the vital supply line. The United Nations forces fought fiercely. Temperatures dropped well below freezing, making it difficult for the soldiers to move and operate their equipment. The harsh weather also made it difficult to evacuate the wounded, and many soldiers died from hypothermia and frostbite. The United Nations forces were nevertheless able to break out of the encirclement and to make a fighting withdrawal to the port of Hanan, inflicting heavy casualties on the Chinese. The battle marked the end of the United Nations offensive operations in North Korea.